how, how did we get from this to that? Something broke. Somewhere along the way, the universe got tainted. Apparently I'm late to the party because the thing I'm going to rant about in this video happened late last year, but I've essentially ignored everything Star Wars since the, the original trilogy. But somebody brought it up in a live stream, asked me for my opinion, and I couldn't believe it, legitimately. I was convinced this was a joke or some sort of fan-made meme, but no, apparently it's real. I remember back when Darth Maul's dual lightsaber staff thingy was the silliest they had come up with. <laughs> it got worse. Oh, it got so much worse. So in Star Wars Visions, there's an episode where a character appears who's clearly supposed to be a badass, who immediately deflects blaster fire. And it happens so quickly that at first it looks pretty cool because it just, it's just spinning something. So that in and of itself could be a cool scene if that same character didn't then proceed to descend like Mary Poppins, literally with an umbrella. I'm not talking a device that somewhat resembles an umbrella. I'm talking literally umbrella. This right here, yes, literally an umbrella without the fabric, obviously, but the construction is exactly that, except that there are plasma blades coming out of the ends and the thing spins. Of course, of course it spins, and with enough speed and force to generate lift. If you're one of those people whose response is an exasperated, it's just fantasy, bro. Listen up, you jar jar jerking, wookie dookie huffin. You're right. It is just fiction. Anything is allowed. And suspension of disbelief is a thing. Everybody has their own opinion about what strains it and when it breaks. And it's still absolutely stupid. I get it, all right? Not everyone is into this dorky realism shit. And I'm not always either. Sometimes I like my fantasy or sci-fi or sci-fantasy or whatever to go all the way. So let's just ignore all of that realism and practicality. I've done plenty of videos babbling about this exact thing. There's, for example, one where I talk about why double-bladed thingamajigs are terrible. And yes, this includes Darth Maul's laser staff, uh, plasma staff. I'm sorry, don't crucify me, Star Wars nerds. So that's, that's all down there. There's a lot of fun to be had in that direction. Not so much fun to be had with the Skeeters around here. Anyway, so that's all fine and good. If we just ignore all that, this, is not cool, okay? There's nothing interesting or um, imposing or badass or whatever about an umbrella, all right? Hate to break it to you. It may be okay if the umbrella conceals a blade, you know, like a sword cane, except styled as an umbrella. All right, all right. But then the point is you discard the umbrella. It's not the weapon. Here, well, technically it's an accessory. Apparently it's a lightsaber auxiliary that modifies the blade, splitting and redirecting the plasma to create a different shape, which in and of itself is a cool idea. It would be interesting if it was used for anything other than an umbrella. Well, they did use the same concept for a scabbard as well, which is cool, although isn't the whole point of a lightsaber, among other things, that it's very easy to carry and you don't need any kind of receptacle for the blade. You just push a button and there it goes. Isn't that kind of a, but okay. To go with the samurai theme, of course, he has to draw it like a katana. All right, fine. So it's made me think, how much dumber could you possibly make this? How much more self-defeating could it be? My first thought was, well, if it's angled downward, then you got a good chance of, burning your own shoulders off or scalping yourself or something. And then I realized, wait a moment, it's already like that. The thing is angled. Ugh. Behold, I have created the ultimate weapon. 
Nobody can defeat me if I defeat myself first. Well, still less self-defeating than this creation. Link below if you haven't seen that video. While looking for information about this device, I found something that in and of itself would have been astonishingly ridiculous if it hadn't just been eclipsed by the lightsaber umbrella. The Inquisitor lightsabers. So those things consist of a handle with a curved guard, which can be deployed either one at a time in crescent mode or both in disc mode. And then you hold it by the grip in the center and the whole thing spins around like a circus attraction. Actually kind of cool when you first see it until you realize that these guards are not made of lightsaber resistant materials. It wouldn't actually protect the hand at all. And in fact, they are prone to damage because now this entire thing has much more bulk, so it can be hit more easily. You know, kind of the, one of the main points and main appeals to a lot of people of a lightsaber design is how sleek it is. There's a certain appeal in this simplicity and it also means that it's less of a target. This thing on the other hand, yeah, apparently even within that universe, it's garbage. It's over-designed junk because it keeps failing. There's a scene where one of those gets hit, starts spazzing out, you know, malfunctioning, and the guy takes this as a cue to take his leave in best Mary Poppins fashion. So he turns on the helicopter of death to get away and the thing just breaks, just falls apart and he plummets to his death like a complete buffoon. So it may seem very intimidating to see this sort of plasma helicopter of doom come toward you until you realize that all you have to do is point your own lightsaber forward and then one of the two blades is going to hit yours and it stops there and that's it. In fact, the Grand Inquisitor is defeated like this because two lightsabers are jammed into the hilt inside of the guards and the whole thing falls apart and that's the end of it. So while the Inquisitor thingy is unintentionally comical, the lightsaber umbrella has got to be full-on self-parody, except with none of the self-awareness. You know, basically Spaceball strains the suspension of disbelief less because it establishes itself as, well, this is a parody and everything here that's going on here is pretty silly. Yet it still manages to somehow be more convincing for the most part than this. Who wrote this scene and then looked at it afterwards and decided, yup, this says badass. No, no it doesn't. It says clown. This is literally something that the Joker would come up with. If you ask me, it all went downhill when they decided to go from lightsaber fights to dance choreographies. I mean, this gif right here is a meme for a reason. It just shows everything wrong with it. It's just a whole lot of fluff. They lost me when the conflicts started to look more like rave parties than actual fights. Now there's nothing wrong with raves, but when you make things look like dance choreography instead of a fight, then I really cannot take this thing seriously. I mean, let's, let's face it, the lightsaber already looks like a glow stick to begin with. Sorry, I know this might upset some diehard fans and everybody loves the lightsaber, I get it, but it's still, it's a tube with a glow stick coming out of it. I mean, th this is only being reinforced when they're twirling it around like they're dancing. I mean, and now it's just straight up, it's a merry-go-round. Is it just me or has Star Wars gone the way of the Terminator franchise? You know, Terminator 3, back then, when we watched it after the absolute masterpiece that was Terminator 2, that forever cemented its place in movie history. Ah, oh, you mosquito piece of crap. After that, we got Terminator 3, and it was insulting. But then everything that came after, each subsequent Terminator was so bad that it made three actually pretty decent. In retrospect, oh, actually this wasn't quite so bad. Oh sure, if one person throws a soiled diaper at a piece of art and then another person comes along and empties an entire dump truck where the raw sewage and rotting carcasses, 
and maybe the soiled diaper doesn't seem quite so bad in comparison anymore, but it's still soiled. I feel like this is what's going on with the prequels now. Back then it was like, this is the worst thing ever, what the hell? How could they inflict this upon anyone, especially fans, but even just people who just have a passing interest? Like, what, what sort of mental anguish did they decide to unleash upon all the audience callously? But then they, they upped it again. I mean, I remember when <laughs> Kylo Ren's lightsaber from the trailer was mocked, you know, the Swiss army knife thing. And then something similar happened with evil rays folding thingamajig. This was just a vision, but still it made an appearance and it was mind boggling. Um, I, I don't know where this is all gonna end. Fortunately, I don't really care because I'd rather watch Star Trek anyway. Strange New Worlds is actually pretty good. And it seems like the writers didn't go on constant LSD binges, which is helpful. Maybe I'm just being too much of a curmudgeon here. Maybe Visions is really amazing and whatnot. But uh, <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I just... I couldn't believe that they actually went this far in making... in ridiculing their own material. It's like... I don't even know what you could possibly come up with. That would be sillier at this point. Lightsaber Rubik's Cubes and lightsaber can openers and lightsaber mosquito killers and all of that. That would actually be very useful right now. They're literally in my ear. I'm just gonna wrap it up now. So if you enjoy all of this stuff, you know, visions and, and the, the umbrella thing and whatever, I mean, um, more power to you, I guess, but I just had to going around about it, it, it was just too mind-boggling and yeah, let's just leave it at that. If you enjoy this kind of thing, overthinking fantasy and sci-fi and, and whatnot, movie tropes, etc., they're right down there. You know, you can smash that bell if you haven't already and uh, if, you're, if you're not even subscribed, you are overcome with an irresistible urge to subscribe and binge this channel. Yes, let the darkness flow through you. I've got plenty more like this. I'll link to below. Check that out. Thanks for watching and have a good one.